This is the Saddleback Front Pocket ID Wallet. There's something about prying from your cold, dead hands. Anyway, just watch the review. Welcome to Wallatopia, and thanks for joining us. Please go to wallatopia.info, register to receive notifications on new videos, other things we publish, deal wallet vendors are sharing, and other opportunities to win wallets we give away every other week. Now, please look at the notes below for links on this wallet as well as other program information. Now, let's get into opening up the Saddleback Leather Front Pocket ID Slim Wallet. All right, this is how it came, which is fine. Ordered it off of Amazon. All right. Let's get a closer look here. Cards in here. Nice leather. We have multiple layers in here. Nice firm stitching, back stitching, reinforcement on all of the sectional pieces. Looks like we have some lining, leather lining in here as well. Very sturdy. Let's move to the feature review of the Saddleback Leather Front Pocket ID Slim Wallet. With Saddleback's Front Pocket ID uh, Slim Wallet, we can see that, of course, we have a ID here. This is an ID window. Now, the ID window does not have anything here that you normally would see in a wallet, like plastic or mesh or anything else. And I think that actually provides great uh, insight that this wallet will definitely last beyond any plastic you put there, so why even bother? So you have this ID window in the front. You then you immediately above that have a card slot right here. On the main compartment, you have yet another card slot in here. And then if we turn it over, we have a split entry of a card slot on the bottom and another card slot on the top. It's a nice front pocket carry. Uh, you could probably stuff some cash here in the top but really no explicit place to put it. This is a card wallet, particularly. And so that's a review of the features of the Saddleback Leather Front Pocket ID Slim Wallet. Now on the card and, you know, on the card insertion test. You saw I placed seven cards uh, in here, and this is before the breaking in period for the leather, and I didn't put any cash. This is a card wallet. The company recommends up to 10 cards, and I can easily see how it would happen once the leather is fully broken in. Now this is a this is a full grain leather, <sighs> smells so good, scars and all, and that's really the best kind of leather. I mean, that is the best kind of leather. Uh, there is an open ID slot here. There's no plastic, like I mentioned, because it can get foggy, yellow, crack over time. And so this is an assurance that they expect this wallet to last a long time. Remember, their 100-year warranty, their motto is, they'll fight over it when you're dead. From my cold, dead hands. Uh, he's a ghost of Charlton Heston here. Anyway, they don't believe in zippers, chains, money clips, snaps, or plastic, and as those will break over time. And they don't want their products uh, to do that. They want them to last for generations. Now, the thread is marine-grade polyester durable stitching on all the seams for strength, and the edges are natural, and, and that looks really good here. They have different colored leather lining on the inside, if we can see here, and that just makes this nice and smooth and really assists in taking care of the rough side of the leather, which helps cards slide in and out more easily. The price is $49, and it's made in Mexico, and the company is located in Fort Worth, the great state of Texas. Now, even though a break-in period is necessary, you will end up with a fantastic patina on this, and it uh, measures 4.2 inches by 3 inches by 0.2 inches thin. Now, we reviewed other products from this company, and we really love their free-spirited nature. Once you read up about their startup story, you'll really develop an instant bond with them and their founder. There's also a companion front pocket wallet, uh, which splits open to allow you to put cash in there. And so, you know, we'll, you'll, I'll put those in the link down below, those links down below so you can get to those as well. Now, for the final score. For quality of four, for price of three, features of three, usability of three, and perception of four. 
That gives us a final score of 35 out of 50 or 3.5 out of 5. Thanks for joining us as always. Look at the links below. See if uh, this is a wallet that looks good to you, something that might benefit you, and if you want to use it, fantastic. And we hope to see you again. Thanks, bye.